Hello friends, this is Seth of the Sickest LPs, and in this episode of Super Mario 3D World, I'm not even 100% sure he's super, but that's okay, I never got the title of this game right anyways. We are going to be playing World 1-3 Mount Bean Pole. It's going to be a great time. There are going to be beans and um, poles. I think there's a mountain thrown in there as well. Believe it or not, I mean, it's going to be crazy, I know. Alright, yes, Mount Bean Pole. Right off the start. You're gonna want to climb this tree. We are a cat, so we cannot climb trees, apparently. You can climb a freaking pole, but I suppose that's only gonna come into play later as Mount Bean Pole. All right, here we got our good friend, Miss Binoculari. No, that's not how you say Binoculari. She's gonna give you a view of what's going on up there, you know, telepathically through her eyes, because cats can do that. They can just, like, transmit their thoughts into fairies. So, you know, fairies exist, and your cats are probably seeing through a fairy's eyes right now into a binocular, looking up a mountain somewhere. It's really crazy, really crazy stuff. But for now, we're gonna be doing some more crazy stuff, and, okay. So you can jump into these things, and they give you something, but you cannot, like, run into them face first, apparently. That is a good thing to know if you are a die-hard Mario fan, you know, if you're gonna be doing the Mario theorist thing where you theorize the alternate universe of the Mario land, then chances are this is gonna be important knowledge to know. Okay. Well, when you keep running up here, there's like a pow block thing up there. What you're gonna wanna do is not get eaten by this guy. You never wanna get eaten by that guy. <laughs> that guy's not getting any love. Alright. Let's go through this pipe. What do we got in here? Ooh, I see a green, I see a green star on that patch right there. Patchland, this is Kirby's epic. No. Okay, let's grab all the coins. You probably all remember this kind of level from Mario Galaxy. Woohoo! Yes. Well, that's exactly what's going on here. And guess what? You need Cat Mario, or if you want to do it properly, because you're going to want to climb up the wall, or else you can just wall jump, actually, so you don't actually need Cat Mario. I'm a liar, but that's okay. Lying in a Mario game, well, not the, not the worst thing, because, ooh, look at this. We got ourselves a stamp. Yes, that's why. That's why you can lie in a Mario game, is because there are stamps to get. Well, actually, it's probably the one Mario game that there are actually stamps to get. So I suppose that that's not actually. It's kind of faulty information, but don't mind me. Don't mind me and my faulty information. I'm not going to go up this way. I'm going to go up this way. I'm going to climb the tree. Cat Mario is going to do that for me. And it's going to be a sweet time. Cat Goomba is not going to be doing anything sweet for me. They're going to be trying to kill me. It's not cool. Ooh, I jumped on him somehow. Thought for sure I was gonna lose my cat suit there, but that's okay. Totally fine with being Cat Mario for just a little longer. Man, does that, that's, that reminds me. Actually, like, the first Let's Play, one of the very first Let's Plays on my channel, at the very least, one of the first two, was called Cat Mario. And if any of you know that game, yeah, just saying. I, so it's kind of weird. It's kind of funny to me personally that they would bring back Cat Mario. All right, well. We're gonna want to use this guy here, and what? What? I wanted to fly on the Lacky Two Cloud. Come on, every Mario platformer fan knows that you fly on the Lacky Two Clouds. You don't do whatever this was with them. Okay, apparently the Lacky Two Clouds in this game just jet sh jet you into the sky. Yes, jet. They actually shoot you out of a cannon into the sky. But that sounds a bit too circusy. I mean, we are not a circus act. We're just, you know, dressed like a cat climbing walls. It's not circus. It's not circus. All right, let's go. Jump over this guy, he's not important. This guy looks pretty important though. He's maybe part of our circus act? Probably. Just jump on him, woo! He's down. He's down for the count, or is he? Well, you can just pound his head one time too many, and that's gonna get rid of that. So it looks like we've completed this level, basically. We got one, two, three, and a third. One, two, three, and a third, yes. You can climb up here, but obviously we haven't missed anything. So I do believe it's time that we- <gasps> I would have missed a mushroom. What? Mario's hungry. You need breakfast or something. All right, grabbing up the bean pole, and that would pretty much be it. I don't know where the beans came from, but at least there was a pole at the end, so it wasn't like 100% false advertising, I suppose. Maybe those trees are called bean poles for some reason. Who knows? Course cleared. We've got a stamp as well to add to our collection. Look at that. Ooh, got cat goomba stamp. It's not a bean pole stamp, of course, which kind of disappoints me, but whatever. They should have really called it Mount Cat Goomba. There were a lot of those just lying around. Just lounging around like a kitty cat would. Okay, what's next? Alright, next up, we got two choices of levels we could go to, and what the heck, slot machine? Just so you know, you can open the electronic menu from the home Wii menu button. You may make some unexpected discoveries there. 
Ooh, all right. Well, we'll definitely be reviewing that at some point, but first we're going to want to head over here because we have a gambling addiction that has been fueled by Nintendo's incessant amount of gambling references throughout games over the years. Hit the blocks, make sure the coins line up. You could win up to seven, seven coins. Ah, oh, yeah, you'll get an extra life for every hundred coins you collect. Well, that's pretty nice. I'm pretty sure that's how coins work in this game. No! Oh, oh yeah, I got two of them. Okay, 100 coins for two of them. That's not bad, actually, considering they're like solid gold coins, presumably, I suppose. Even if they were just chocolate coins, I mean, there'd still be 100 chocolate coins. That'd be pretty worth it. I mean, that'd be worth a day at... I don't know, I'm thinking I'm thinking of a place over here where it's basically you play a lot of like arcade games and you can trade in like coupons for candy or something. But I don't think that place exists anywhere else, so I'm just gonna shut my mouth and head into World 1. Five. No, we're not skipping. We ain't skipping. We're doing this in order, and we're doing Plessy's Plunging Falls. Okay. As you can see, I love this level. <laughs> oh, we're gonna go visit Plungy's Plessing... Plungy's Plessing Falls. Hi, Plungy. Are you plussing the falls? What do you have to say? Nothing. You're just gonna stay a nice look through your eyes. No, you have no binoculars. Maybe it only works with binoculars. I'm still a kitty cat, so it should still work, but whatever. Hop on Plessy and head for the goal. All right, control your speed by using up and down and the what's in the jig and the bling it and all that good stuff. All you have to do is press A to jump and move forward and to the side and shit and grab coins and it's gonna be a fun time. Are there Plessy plushies out there? There really should be because then you can say Plessy plushie and it's like an alliteration. And Nintendo, it's a good idea. Get on that. Woo! The first green star. Perfect. All right, so what you want to know about this level is, well, I don't think you can 100% it on the first try, actually, come to think of it, because you're going to be either missing one or the other. You'll see what I mean once we get there. Firstly, though, we're not going to go over there, even though it's the path that gives us the most points. You want to go high in the sky, because, well, this is the one-up that I missed. I wanted the one-up. My tears have filled up this entire... Ooh, look at this. There is a waterfall here, which leads to a secret hidden passage for a green star. I looked forever for this. You have no idea how many times... Look, you see that star right there that you grab? That gives you the invincibility? I always thought that was the green star, and I thought you had to jump over, like, a really tall wall and jump really precise to get there without going through that, because I didn't think you could go through that waterfall. All right, make this jump. Grab the last green star. There we go. Got all the green stars, and that's good. And with that, well... Your assistances are no longer required. Replied, plus. <laughs> I cannot do the PL sounds, I'm sorry. All right, oh, that's done. You might say, well, look, you beat the level and there's still no stamp. Yep, that's what I said. You actually have to go back for the stamp in this. What? I have the cat suit and I didn't even get the freaking one up on the top of the pole. Darn it, really? So where on Plessy's plummeting plunger falls? Plunger falls, yeah, well, I guess we are a... I almost said plunger. Yes, Mario is a plunger. Can you not see the resemblance? No, a plumber. Well, if you don't go through the waterfall, you'll get to the zigzaggy point where you're gonna fall off and... Ah! So where in the falls of Plessy's Plusherino is the actual stamp? Okay, well, that, 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 that works. That's the name from now on. All right, yes, there it is. Um, I'm not gonna fall off this time. I'm gonna zigzag perfectly and do just about that. And there you go. That's all there is to it. This level still took me forever to find that. I actually never found it on my first run through. For some reason, I feel like I ran into that secret waterfall to begin with and then never got it somehow, which really ticked me off because I was like, well, where could it possibly be? I looked everywhere. Little did I know you just had to run your face into a waterfall, typical for a Nintendo game. I guess someone just loves a day at the waterfall. I guess it's like the Japanese equivalent of a day at the beach, I suppose. I don't know. I'm just kidding. I'm sure they got their beaches there. But, say the least, I am glad to be done with this level because bad memories all around. All right. Well, glad that's over. It didn't take me like an hour and a half like it took my first complete run through of this. And with that, the course truly is clear. Check out that stamp. Stamp collections, Plessy. Plessy is added to our stamp collection. Oh yeah. Our Mario. 
Let's move. We're moving out. We got to move into a tent. Yes, a circus tent. And we said we weren't a circus act. All right, world one five. Switch scramble circuit 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 boards. Scramble the circuit boards with the switch scramble circus. It's gonna be a great time. We're gonna be doing it just about now. Let's go, Mario. Let's figure this out. Oh man, it's a puzzle. All right, you actually just have to step on the switch no more than once each. That is essentially all you have to know to get this level complete in due time. Oh, there's one more. I wanted my cat suit right about now. Cat suit is fairly useful in this level. I wouldn't say it is absolutely necessary, but it is always good to have. It's always good to have another cat suit in reserve as well, so kill these things. Grab onto this, and whoa, I jump pretty high. All right, with the cat suit, you just get an easier way around these things. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Ooh, um, watch this. Watch the skills. Hey, yeah. Woo. Uh, okay, that was kind of. I wanted the cool bounce effect, but whatever. That works too. Okay, running, running, running into a wall. Oh crap! There are a lot of these things. I don't want to climb up the wall here. You can actually just wall jump up there, so don't worry if you don't have the cat suit. But yeah, that's the first green star. And these are bees. Bees and cats do not mix. Or at least if the cat has a bee allergy, I suppose. Do cats have bee allergies? Does that exist? Someone, so please tell me it exists so that my, my Mario-isms make sense. All right. Heading over here, jump up here, jump up here, jump up here. Yeah, look at that skills. I totally calculated this. Calculated it all. Woo! Didn't even have to jump to get to there. Told you. It's all part of my secret plan. As you can see, I come very prepared for these recordings of uh, uh, Cat uh, Mario, the Thousand Year Saw. What? Okay. <laughs> so I come very prepared. So prepared, I know the exact name of the game. As you can tell, I mean that was the the hidden secret title. Um, I came so prepared. I missed the red coins too. You know what? At screw preparation. I'm done with this. Uh, actually, I think this is important here. We're gonna go ahead and head to the portal block. Ooh. You know what? I believe you're intended to get that by way of using this fire flower. But if you're a cat, you can just tear through the boxes. That works too. Apparently. I do believe it's always in the same place, because it always seems to be there every time I look for it. So, that is indeed something that Kamek, that is something Kamek put it up to. Damn it, Kamek, you're ruining the game's immersion with your, with your, ah, shit, I almost fell. Okay, um, uh, I need this, and I, please don't stop moving. Okay, yeah, I needed that green star. Sorry about that, there we go, got everything, but we're still missing a stamp. Where is it? I'm sure Kamek hit it. He's been ruining this game for us so far. I'm sure that it is all his fault. God. Okay, you don't want don't, you do not want to click all of these switches because the stamp is far easier to grab if you do not click all the switches. If you do, on the other hand, you can still grab it by doing like a spin jump or something. I do believe. Yeah, look at this. Look at that crazy spin jump. Whee! And you can just go high and grab it. That's not the point. Right now, we better get. Yeah, there you go. We got the. Oh, I thought it was a one up, but apparently it's just one ten thousand points. Yes, one ten thousand points, as opposed to like two ten thousand points, because that is how you say numbers in English. All right, so that pretty much completes the switch scramble circuit circus. <laughs> All right. And with that, I do believe we are going to end off the episode here, friends. In the next episode, we are going to get to take on our good friend Bowser in all his bowsing glory, hopefully. We're going to be taking on his castle anyways. Looks pretty intimidating. Ooh, what's over here? I'm just interested, okay? It's a coin! I'm rich! I definitely didn't get like a... 200 or 300 of those in this episode. We're also going to be checking out what's in this warp pipe that our good friend Battletoad Galactica has found for us. We're going to go ahead and check that out in the next episode. See you around, folks. That is that for this.